The shots line up is one change from last Saturday. Uh, the 5-2 home win against Oxford City. Jordi van Stapperschurf in goal. The back three remains the same. Kean Harris, Maxi Mullins and Haji Minoga. And then across the midfield, Ollie Harfield, uh, the wing-back, Tyler Frost and Stuart O'Keefe, the skipper in central midfield. Aaron Jones on the right. Josh Stokes in the number 10 position behind Laurent Tolage. Two goals on debut and Jack Barham, who also got his account underway. We are seconds away from kick-off here at Boundary Park. And referee Jamie O'Connor gets us underway. But only as far as Mark Kitchen, who plays a 1-2, gets in down the left side, squares it in. It's brilliantly intercepted by Haji Minoga. Dead central, so who's got dibs here? Is it Frost? Frost runs over it. Talaj runs up. Oh, it's a great strike and a great save. And it's parried away for a corner. Forward onto it, down by the corner flag. Strokes it straight back to Kitchen. Forced onto his right foot. Now he gives the ball to the number 22, Dickinson. Paul comes in, it's a poor touch from Maxi Mullins. Picked up again by Nuttall. Norwood's got it, uh, tries to feed it. The ball comes out to Shelton. He tries a shot, that's blocked. It's picked up by Freeman, ball in. Shot comes in on target from James Norwood. Saved low, down to his left by Jordi Van Stapperschurf. And Lister um, showing from the shots faithful. In comes the corner from Oldham to the far post. Headed back in and headed away by Mullins. O'Keefe battles for it. And uh, is that a high foot? And it's given against him. Interesting that. I thought he was perfectly entitled to go for that, Al. Yeah. Um, uh, and I think the Oldham player, well, we're given the benefit of the doubt. Not here. Four men in the wall. And it comes over the wall. And it's tipped over the bar by Jordi Van Stapperschurf. Maybe. To Oldham, they're fourth of the game. And do you know what? At the far post, it was a... <coughs> Excuse me, listeners. James Norwood holding the ball up. Really great bit of vision. Flicks the ball out to Dickinson on the left-hand channel. In he comes, ball in. Harris tries to clear it. It's poked forward towards goal. And Norwood looked to poach it seven yards out. And it's a brilliant save, a block save from Jordi Van Stapperschurf. Should fall into the path nicely of Kitchen. He lifts the ball up towards Nuttall. Oh, Haji Minoga gets contact, goes down awkwardly. No foul given. Nuttall squares it. And it's a tap-in. For James Norwood, shots are not happy. They thought there was a foul on Minoga. The referee's given the goal. And Norwood, at his fourth attempt in the 33rd minute, puts Oldham ahead. Simple goal in the making. Oldham Athletic 1, Aldershot Town 0. Uh, the main stand here. And uh, the shots fans are in the lower tier with which is out of our sight, but not out of our earshot, or I'm sure yours, listeners. Uh, very lively earlier on. They've been quietened a little bit now, something we hope that Aldershot might do to the home fans. Norwood dwells on it. Harry's pokes a foot in, but the ball... Oh, it's an incredible goal! An absolutely incredible strike from Brennan Dickinson from fully 30 yards. It flies into the top right-hand corner. Jordi Van Stapperschurf's top left-hand corner. And Oldham, in the space of three minutes, have doubled their lead. Oldham Athletic 2, Oldham shot nil. That's a word, Oldham, and they've lost possession again. So Oldham 2, shots nil, and uh, we've got about two minutes plus added time until half-time. Here's Nuttall, picking up the ball on the edge of the area, strokes it into the path of Tollett. Oh, it's a beautiful strike from Ben Tollett. And unbelievable, as the ball came across him, he struck it right-footed, low, nestles in the side netting. Jordi Van Stapperschurf's right-hand post. The shots are 3-0 down towards the end of the first half. Their goal difference has evaporated. It's now back to level. Oldham Athletic 3, shots nil. Very player there was, throwing to the shots, taken quickly to Frost. Frost drifts the ball into the far post, finds Harfield, squares it, Tolage misses it, O'Keefe shoots, comes out, Josh Stokes got the ball at his feet, tries a shot, it's on target, deflected and saved by Norman. And the shots cannot 
find the goals that were coming so easily last week. In the last 15 minutes of the second, first half. Of course, so Tommy Widrington is staring down the barrel of his first order shot town defeat. There's a good ball out to the left-hand side. Can Harfield keep it in? Yes, he can. Inside to Talaj. Drags it on into the box. Now gets it back onto his right foot. Tries to set up a shot. Can't. Feeds Frost. Frost shoots. That deflects wide. Barham tries to turn it towards goal. He doesn't get hold of it. Ends support on the right hand side and the ball's played to Freeman now back to Tollett Oldham looking to get a fourth to bury this one really to, to draw a line under the, the victory and uh, Dickinson spreads it out to the right hand side to Freeman Tollett tries to get the cross in it's very deep hat down with header. oh brilliantly parried Nuttall put the header inside Norwood tuck it first time towards goal and a really good save from Geordie Van Stappershire picks it up and here with his thoughts on the substitution and that golden opportunity there for James Norwood for a fourth mm -hmm. is Alan Baldwin. That was a brilliant save by Geordie there. That looked a certain goal. So even though it's not kept us in the game as such, um, it's made the scoreline a little bit more flattering. Um, the second half. Kwame Thomas has been on the pitch less than two minutes and he's picked up Aldershot Town's second yellow card of the afternoon as uh, he was a little bit over exuberant in the tackle and the free kick rightly given to Oldham and the referee decides that with that very first challenge Kwame Thomas is going to see yellow out but it is a long way out it's 30-32 yards Frost lifts the ball to the far post it's sent back in beautifully by Harfield and it's an own goal for Oldham I think it might be Mark Kitchen I'll confirm that in due course but Harfield has brilliantly lifted the ball back into the air with his left foot really acrobatically and an Oldham defender has headed it into his own net it's Oldham 3 Oldham shot 1 the goal, yeah. and the goal difference is back to plus 1 Burnett with the ball forward Barham's chasing it against Hogan he's done well he's got round him tight angle squares it and it's oh. cleared off the line Kwame Thomas couldn't get there brilliant work from Barham and Aldershot going so close to a, a third goal, there, a second goal there, sorry, is Kean Harris. Uh, coming back in from a combination of Shelton and Tollett. But uh, uh, Kwame Thomas has nibbled, he's fouled, he's going to be shown a second yellow. And Kwame Thomas, on as a sub, has been sent off. And Aldershot Town are down to ten men just when they were looking so encouraging to be back in it it's a poor decision in the tackle by Kwame Thomas on a yellow card and I have every sympathy for the referee who showed his first red card in the whole of last season and the beginning of this Al goal kick taken by Van Stappershire it's won by Oldham but then Harry strokes it nicely into the path of Ollie Harfield what a player he is superb in the back third of last season assisting goals for fun all comes across Nuttall leaves it's going to clip it over the top for Norfolk oh Norwood he's onto it he's rampaging through and he tucks it home you pay the big bucks you get the big finishers and they've got one in James Norwood and Oldham have sealed the deal on this opening home game victory for them the goal coming in the 85th minute Brilliantly assisted by Joe Nuttall, winning the 50-50, a little nod down, drawing the keeper, sliding it low past him. Oldham Athletic 4, Aldershot Town 1. Home win, whichever way you want to wrap it up, Al. 4-1, yeah, yeah. Oldham. I've, I've no complaints about the scoreline. They were clinical in the last quarter of the first half, and that was a clinical finish again from... Oh, no. Mullins could only oh, head it inside, offside. it's clipped offside. forward, and it's a lobbed finish. That and it's offside. Dickinson again as Aldershot concede a fifth in the 87th minute and Max Mullins again could only head it into the path of the Oldham player and Dickinson lobs Van Stappershire Oldham five, Aldershot one with the gentleman in front of us but uh, there is the final whistle out you don't don't need to keep your powder dry any longer.